in this video we will learn about the thermodynamic state properties process and cycle so all the measurable characteristics of a system uh, are known as the properties properties of a system are those quantities that actually helps us in describing the state of a system the examples of some properties are pressure volume temperature density etc and the state of a system is the condition of a system at a particular time frame now let us discuss this in details suppose this is a glass of water and here we have some ice cubes now the fundamental composition of both ice and water is same but one is liquid and the other is solid why it is because uh, of two important properties known as temperature and pressure at normal room temperature say around 10 degree centigrade and 1 atm pressure we have water now if this uh, temperature goes below 0 degree centigrade the same temperature uh, the same water changes its state to ice likewise if the temperature goes above 100 degree centigrade the same water gets converted to vapor so what we see is that uh, change in a property changes the state of a system and when two properties are fixed the system attains a particular state now one thing you have to remember that change of state does not always means that uh, the system has to change its phase a system can still be in a particular phase and change its state for example water at 20 degree centigrade and 1 atm pressure will be in one state whereas the same water at 30 degree centigrade will be at another state the phase is same okay now there are two types of properties the intensive properties and the extensive properties those properties which depends on the extent or mass of a system are known as the extensive properties like mass volume density etc while those properties which are independent of mass are called intensive properties one example is temperature okay so one easy way to remember uh, and distinguish between extensive properties and in intensive properties is to imagine a system of mass m volume v and temperature t now if i divide the system into two parts using a partition like this as a result the mass of each part will become m by 2 that is mass will become ha half the volume will also get half will also become half this means mass and volume depends on the extent or quantity of a system so these are called extensive properties again if we talk about temperature the temperature of both the part will be same that is it will not change no matter how many divisions we make in the system so such kind of properties which do not depend on the mass of a system are called the intensive properties now next comes the process process is nothing but a change in its state a change in a, in a thermodynamic state that is when a system uh, gets transformed from one equilibrium state to another a process is said to have occurred suppose we have a piston cylinder arrangement now the system is at a particular state at this state it has a definite set of property values such as pressure and volume this is a particular state one now suppose if the system gets compressed its volume will decrease and the pressure will increase thus the system will achieve a new state so if i plot this process in a p um, pressure versus volume plot i will get i will get this at state 1 the system has a pressure p1 and volume v1 now after expansion the pressure becomes p2 and volume uh, becomes v2 so properties that is pressure volume temperature etc are actually coordinates that helps to de determine the state of a system now in between this final and initial states the system has passed through a series of intermediate states now if we join all these coordinate points we will get a clear path and when the path is completely specified we get a process next if the series of state changes are such that the system re returns to its initial state that is the initial and final states are same we get a cycle so this was all about the state process path and cycle for more such informative videos please subscribe macvidya thank you